Coronado is cracking down on dockless bikes, declaring them a public nuisance. City leaders and residents say the bikes are littering the island and they shouldn't be there in the first place. 10 News anchor Ariel Wessler explains what the city is doing about it. Just around the corner from 10 News in Webster, we counted three dockless bikes, two yellow OFOs and one lime bike. Well, now residents and city leaders say these dockless bikes are starting to flood Coronado, too. It's a nicer area. I can understand why people might be a little bit upset with these things littering the street. Mick Cole is visiting from Vancouver, Canada and rented a yellow OFO bike free for the month of March. It makes it a little bit more convenient to leave them wherever you want. I've seen them left in inappropriate places. Like this photo from a Coronado resident showing a bike left in front of his garage. Back in December, Coronado banned these dockless bike companies from releasing the bikes on the island. Both OFO and Lime Bikes say they've complied, but here's what's happening instead. People are picking up the bikes here in San Diego, hopping on the ferry with them, and dropping them off all around Coronado. We don't need them. Ken Hewitt is one of several local bike shop owners who originally fought to keep the bikes off the island. Uh, every bike that you see is going by there is a potential rental. We're a small island here. San Diego's got a lot more real estate and a lot more spaces. So now the city plans to tag any bikes left in the public right of way, remove them, and charge the companies $40 to $50 to pick them up. Then we could have our city back. The bikes are GPS enabled, so the city and residents say the companies should know exactly where to find them. Now come get your bikes, go put them somewhere else. On Coronado Island, Ariel Wessler, 10 News. And both OFO and Lime Bikes say they are continuing to work together with the city to best serve the needs of the community.